Okay. Well, there. Uh, looks like the Bush Gardens one is going to be uploaded tonight, so it's going to still take a while, but we'll be up sometime soon. So, without further ado, we're going to connect and uh, see what's out there. Much love to you. This is Lucifer, much love to you. Yes. Knowledge of your Archons is quite simple. Do not mess with them. Yes, you can speak to them to in a positive way and not have fear. The less fear you have, the easier it will be to connect with them. Not to say you have to connect to them, but if you wish to, just have a positive energy and just show up like you would show up with a friend to connect to them as a friend not as a foe and they can read your energies understand yes they're very connected to this world they cause much anarchy but they're doing it yes for the experience of it but also to teach many here a lesson they like to see what happens to you if you go through a certain scenario understand we'll not put you in a scenario that you cannot handle they read your energy and you say he's very good at this and they put him in a situation such as being a truck driver for the rest of your life, or a poet, or whatever it might be, or so a father of several kids, maybe three or four, or a good, very good bigamist. Yes, I believe that's the correct word, yes. That you were this in another lifetime, and why not give it a shot again? Yes, they could change your timeline. But also remember, you can bring your timeline back to what you wish to go to. But yes, it, may, it takes much difficulty to do that. One, some wish to be part of this Archon incarnation. Meaning, when you enter to this world, you, yes, connect to the Archon energies and they change your chart. But they don't change it too much, but they do change it enough where it will take you in another direction. But understand, it's another place where you can utilize your talents. Either maybe lovemaking or in... A talent of craft, let's put it that way. And sometimes they do put you in a place where you are handling more than you wish to go through. Many do connect to the Archon energies and ask them for a, another route. It's like, yes, it's part of their chart, but what can you, can you add a spin to it? And when they do that, it is where many cannot handle and they become drug addicts and become very depressed. It is part of your society, it's still part of your warning, but many do ask for that energy to enter into their timeline. These are beings that are very sophisticated, they do not have incarnations here, but they do connect to humanity very much and they can bring much assistance. Yes, they can bring in riches and they can make you poor very quickly also. Many do choose this, many whilst they do choose those Archon lifetimes, yes. But they also put the intention out to be a super wealthy person. So many become super wealthy, but they have to go through poverty. Or the other way around, they're very rich and become very poor. They wish to expand on that. And the Archons have timelines where that is all already set. They just The human comes into this world and adds himself to that timeline. Not always the case. Some wish to be 
go anonymous and just say do what you got and it will go a part of that Archon meaning that you don't know what you're getting into But they are aware of connecting to the Archon energies realize you're aware of this before you enter this world It's just you taking the chance And sometimes it's very helpful and sometimes it's not some learn more about themselves some learn things about themselves They wish they never knew Understand yes, it increases it adds a few points to your life. Let's put it that way meaning the harder the life, the higher you ascend, let's put it that way. This is not part of your ascension process, meaning ascend as for knowledge. And in this knowledge, your soul expands into a place you never thought it can go into. But many of these lives are very difficult, and many do go into suicide. Or divorce. Yes, divorce is quite large. Yes, I know how bringing that up is quite interesting but many of these are they call themselves lovers but then they end themselves in divorce and these sometimes are soulmates you've known in many lifetimes you love them forever and you come into this lifetime and you break up for good we've had many many lifetimes of just the two of you just Romeo and Juliet but with the positive flow of energy they come into this environment and they end it all together happens all the time in this first reality happens all the time yes this world is quite villainous but also very productive as for soul expansion as for soul knowledge these type of worlds are you very useful as for testing the soul to its brink but yes you're not just testing yourself the other side is test also as angels are tested also yes you take the heavy blunt of it but so we we still have to go through much what you're going through. But yes, this is a place where lovers break up for good. But also, this is where a soul sometimes needs to be alone also. For self-love. And also, many feel like they don't need to be with anyone because they have lived all of those lifetimes. And it's now it's fine to be away from it all and to grow on your own. Eventually a lover might show up depending on what you want in your experience. It's not always a guarantee. It's not always something you want to connect to. Freedom of choice is on this planet. Realize that many put out the intentions to connect with someone and still connect with no one because there's a part of you that wishes not to connect with anyone. You're not ready for it and you have better things to do. There's different scenarios with that but you'd be surprised what's in your vibration. You'd be surprised. Some are just not ready because they have much to learn. And much of the Archon Energies helps you realize this. Among, much of the Archon Energies has to do with that of loneliness. But it's not loneliness, it's just being single. As your world would call it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because many do feel like they need to experience that in an environment like this. It is just to see if they can achieve being alone for a long time also. And what can they learn from themselves? There's much to do with that. But yes, this environment, an archon timeline, can make you and or break you, yes. But the achievements of knowledge is supreme on this planet, and this is why they are so useful. They know that it is yes difficult, but also it has much rewards with it also on their timeline. But yes, be cautious, of course, because it can take you to a place that brings much aggravation. Also, realize the Lucifer energy is my energy as much of an Archon energy. Also, as for you to see myself as a devil, much of that has to do with an Archon timeline. And many do choose to connect to this devil, which brings much de negativity to their environment. Some have fear for your devil, some wish to be the devil, you understand. And much of that is a archon timeline, yes. But understand you can also avoid the archon timeline and incarnate, yes, through different worlds. Zeta, reptilian that connects to this world, even the worlds around your planet. You can connect to them also. Agartha is another place. So you don't necessarily have to go through this archon creation. It is not necessary. 
but some do choose it. And many are in poverty because of it. But as there is their choosing, because there is much to learn there. And many of them do take the bus, just to give you an idea. Nothing wrong with that, of course. But they do see it, they feel it is degrading, but not all, but some do. But understand the tests are immense there. As there is with all your lives. The archive lifetime, yes, does add a flavor of complexity, but not to say the other timelines do not either. You have a little bit more control of your, your life in other timelines as you're reincarnating through different without the archive energies, but you can always add the archive energy to you if you wish to, but it is not you must know what you're getting involved with some do it anyway. And they will see a change in their life very quickly. Your elites use it all the time. How do you think your financial system works? Much of that is an Archon entity. But they know what they're doing. For all of you, remember nature. Remember how much nature loves you. Speak to it. Allow it to connect to you. And you can connect back. It's always there for you. Remember, it will t keep you young. Connecting to nature will keep the sun, the soul young, and bring some joy when it's difficult to pick. Connect with joy. We are quite understanding that many are going through transitions at this time, and it's very difficult for many at this time to fully think straight. Clearly, it's only because you're going on to a timeline where. Thinking clearly isn't always important. Just follow your heart. Trust in spirit. Trust in yourself. Much love. Blessings. This is Lucifer. Blessings to you all. Humanity and all things in it.